Danny Stapleton from Irish Boxing. Back home here with uh, Conrad Cummins. Conrad, how are you feeling ahead of the fight and the big occasion? I'm feeling good, Johnny. First time being here in the so late Titanic area. It's an uh, unbelievable setup. I'm just honoured to be a part of it. And, uh, is it build, it's building uh, closer towards the fight now and the excitement is building and uh, came at the end, go to, go to war. <laughs> last time out it was supposed to be a bit of a step up, a couple of wins and what you took in the past. And this time out this fella has a reputation of, yeah. of upsetting prospects. Yeah, well, you know, the last guy, okay, he was decent, he was decent off record and he was experienced, but you know, this is only the fourth fight, people forget that. But this guy is a genuine step up. He's, uh, just after beating a London based German uh, who was 11 0 with 10 KOs, he's been another prospect who was 10 0. So he's uh, he's coming here, you know, he doesn't, he's not he's not worried about reputation or big venues. He's coming here off, uh, you know, confidence booster. He thinks he's going to beat me, but there's no way he's beat me, you know, the way I prepared and the, I believe in my own ability. I'm not, I'm not arrogant, but I know what I'm capable of. And, uh, Come fight night, uh, you're going to see you're going to see the best in the year to come. But if you beat him, it's a statement in itself. And where do you go from there? You're going to have to jump up another level again. Well, that's they're, they're being quite quite aggressive with me with my my approach to, in my career. But that, that's what I wanted. I'm, uh, I'm only young when he just turned 23, but I had a great amateur pedigree. I'm still learning the pro game. I'm only I'm only, I'm only new to this game. I've only had three fights now, four come the weekend. I'm going to be taking along at a nice a nice pace, but uh, moving along nicely. Uh, you know, this is a big step up, and we'll, we'll just keep stepping up as it comes, and we'll have uh, taken the big names before you know it. And, just, and what about just in terms of the atmosphere and the, the fight night itself? Do you, you plug into that in pre camp? And uh, use it as a bit of motivation? Or? Yeah, well, you know, I always do every single fight I train, or every, you know, even as an amateur, you know, I leave no stone and turn him, a real hard graft in the gym, and. Uh, just train, but there's, there's been real, you know, real, real buzz around. You know, this this last ca last camp over in London. Uh, obviously, Charles fighting the world title, training alongside him. Anthony Hitz, he's just joining us now. So the just there's an extra wee lift in the gym, and uh, just been all pushing each other on, and uh, you know, sitting Kjarl sitting there, he's fighting the world title, and that's where I want to be. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a professional to win an Irish title or but Of course, I want to win these things, and I'm going to win these things. Yeah. But that's what I want a world title. So that. That that's been, that's my motivation. That's really but we'll take it one side at a time. And then just a quick word for Carl. How's he looking in the gym? And he's looking phenomenal. I've never seen him in this shape. You know, he's always in good shape, but he's just if he, he's just leaner, he's faster, he's fitter, stronger, sharper, punching harder. You know, he's I watched him sparring middle or not sorry, I'm not middle. It's sparring welterweights, light welterweights. He's only a super super welterweight. You know, when he taking them apart. You know, two days and one night doing nine rounds, ten rounds. So. Great, great comments for you know we watch not him win this fight. So uh, I think he's going to knock him out. You know I think it's the only outcome, but it should be a good fight.